from an Atlanta Deacons family shortly after body cam video of his final, final moments was released to the public. We are going to show you some of the video leading up to 62-year-old Johnny Holman's death. And we do want to warn you, some of you may find it disturbing. Hey, Why are you angry like this, man? On August 10th, Holman called the Atlanta Police Department after getting into a minor traffic accident. According to preliminary statements from the GBI, Holman became noncompliant, and the responding officer, Kieran Kimbrough, eventually tased him following a physical struggle. But Holman's family said today it was the officer, not Holman, who escalated the situation. Now we're asking for the officer to be jailed and prosecuted to the fullest extent because what he did to our father was senseless. What he did to our father was murder. An autopsy report lists the tasing, diabetes, and heart disease as factors contributing to Holman's death. The officer was fired after this incident. The department says he failed to wait for a supervisor to arrive on scene before moving forward with a physical arrest, which violates procedure. Now, watching the body camera video gives us a firsthand look at what happened that night, but we also want to get some perspective. Absolutely. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles, she actually spoke with a legal expert and a retired police lieutenant about what they actually see in that video, Teresa. Well, Ron, their opinion, several things went wrong during this interaction by both the officer and Johnny Hallman. Lower your voice. My voice You're when a police officer me. arrives on the scene of a car accident, I ain't doing nothing. tensions can rise. The officer and citizen interaction went to another level. And on that level, Deacon Johnny Hallman lost his life. Newly released body camera video of his arrest in August had the two experts I spoke with trying to figure out what went wrong. To me is very sad. Had this gentleman who's now deceased just signed the ticket, none of this would have happened. Retired Lieutenant Charles Rambo says citizens are responsible, just as the officers are, for de-escalation. According to Georgia law, drivers must sign citations, but Rambo holds former Atlanta police officer Kyron Kimbrough accountable for punching and tasing Hallman multiple times. Is it reasonable and is it necessary? No, Mr. Hallman was not showing any degree of being agitated to the point of attacking the officer. Still, attorney Daryl Cohen believes murder charges against Kimbrough are unlikely. He overreacted. I don't personally see any criminal charges against him. At the very worst, I think we've got involuntary manslaughter. However, Cohen says District Attorney Fonnie Willis could see it differently. If she decides to bring charges, in my view, she will wait to see what the GBI has to say. Cohen believes the family will likely pursue a civil suit and seek compensation. And Rambo sees this video as a reminder that future interactions shouldn't end like this. Approach is always is more important than your authority. I counted Hallman saying he couldn't breathe at least 15 times. In the video, the officer is seen checking Hallman's pulse and breathing, but Rambo said more extensive aid should have been given as officers waited for an ambulance to arrive. All right, Teresa, thank you so much. Now, in an effort to be transparent, our team has posted the one-hour body camera video online. It shows a full interaction between Holman and the officer from the time the ticket was initially issued to the tasing to the time EMS was called. Those who wish to watch the full video or learn more about the case can text the word video to the number on your screen, 404-885-7600. The link to this story will be sent to your phone. New tonight.